Magazine. We're here with Ileana from The Next, and we are here at our beautiful alma mater, Dominican University in River Forest, Illinois. My first question for Ileana is, how did you get into music? Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, I got into music when I was very young, because my family is very musically talented, very musically gifted, and they've always been, it's just always been a part of our lifestyle. So my dad is a singer and an entertainer, and watching him, I kind of was like, oh, that looks fun, let me try it, let me do it. So, um, you know, I just started singing when I was very small, like two years old, I think. My parents would see me in the crib, and they would turn on Gloria Stefan, and that's how they realized that I could sing, because I would sing along to her music, and I was on key, and um, they, they were like, this kid needs to do something, because she's got really powerful lungs. Like, I hope one day she makes money with that voice, because when I would cry, it was like, you know, really just loud and obnoxious, and uh, they're like, she's got a set of lungs on her, she's got to sing. <laughs> so I did musicals and all sorts of uh, things with my dad, um, you know, I would sing at his restaurant a little bit, and that's okay. how I basically got into singing. So did you take voice lessons, and did you take choir in high school? I school? didn't necessarily take voice lessons, but the high schools in our community had, you know, musicals, and I would audition for those and get my practice singing those songs, the songs for the musicals, and then um, whatever I learned, I learned from my dad. Um, and then later on, you know, I started taking, you know, I started taking it more seriously and, and going to the voice teachers and the speech pathologists and, you know, learning how to really use my voice. Okay. That was more recently. Yeah. Okay, so you're a recent graduate from Dominican University. You want to be a singer. What was your life up to the next? My life, right after graduation, I had a degree in graphic design and communications. So I told myself, okay, if you want to get a nine to five, you're going to be dedicated to going somewhere every day and staying there for eight hours and, you know, doing something um, that's not going to allow you really to have much time to pursue your music career. So I was like, okay, what's the alternative to that? Let me start my own business. That way I can be my own boss, get my own clients and really just focus on you know, making money, but also doing what I love, doing the singing and, and pursuing that. And so I started my uh, design business called I Squared Designs right after I graduated Dominican. And I would help small businesses um, brand themselves and create an online presence for them. And, you know, I did a lot of freelance work for uh, big corporations that needed a freelance designer. Um, and it was great because I could still go to the studio and, you know, do my gigs whenever I wanted to, and then I would make time for the design whenever I had to. Okay. So really flexible schedule. <laughs> okay, well, one of the things I was wondering while watching the next was, how did they find out about you? How did you get on the show? Well, a producer that I worked with in college named Eric E. Smooth Miller, who is a Gram Grammy-nominated, Grammy award-winning producer, called me one night at midnight he goes, Ileana, there's a show coming to town, and they're looking for talent, and, you know, they emailed us, and they said, send us talent, we want people to audition for this show, which originally was called Star Next Door. Okay. And uh, it was not an open audition. It, it's not like American Idol, where there's this big cattle call of people, and you're waiting in line for days. It was, you have to know someone in order to be invited to audition, okay. and you have to have a local following, and you have to kind of be like a local celebrity with with your talent, what you do. So the minute he said that, I mean, I had like this flash of like, it was like a revelation. I was like, I have to be on the show. I'm gonna be on the show. Like I just felt like, it just felt right. So, you know, the next day right away, I sent in my first, um, I guess it was like an audition sheet, you know, it, oh, it asks what you do and how long you've been doing it for and what, you know, who you've opened for and uh, just to see if you're a legitimate artist and then I passed that part and they're like, congratulations, you are on to the next part of auditions. And I did not know if I was on the show or not until they showed up on my doorstep. Okay. And I had no idea that they were coming. Um, so they, you didn't know you were going to be on the show until Gloria Estefan walked into the That's restaurant. right, that's okay. right. They say, listen, you know, we have one last audition process. You have to come out here to California. You have to do this. You know, there's a lot of steps to it where 
they were all labeled as audition process. So I'm like, oh man, this is another audition. Like I have to go to another audition. Um, and so, you know, finally the last, the last step was them showing up. And when, when Gloria showed up, I was like, oh my God, I'm on the show. <laughs> that was your first time meeting Gloria? That was my first time meeting Gloria, but I had seen her seven years prior in Spain when uh, I was leaving Spain because I had lived there for a little bit doing an internship and I'm at the airport with my sister and we hear a voice behind us and my sister goes that lady sounds just like Gloria Estefan because she's got such a distinct voice and the way that she pronounces words and so we turn around and it was Gloria with her husband and her daughter and like her whole family and I was like oh my god like this woman that I idolized my entire life was right there this like, huge star it was so crazy so she came and she sat like right next to us and I remember just being so starstruck and not wanting to go up to her I, I never ended up saying anything to her but I just watched her and, and was like you know if it's meant to be we'll meet again and then okay. that was the year that I started um, performing you know big gigs by myself because I was so inspired by just seeing her okay so prior to the next, did you ever audition for American Idol or any of those shows? I did. I auditioned for The Voice, Cycle 2, and there were there are a lot of audition processes with that, as okay. processes, whatever the word, okay. <laughs> uh, with that too. And I made it to like the second round of auditions, and my audition was at like midnight. It was so late, and they had been going since 9 a.m. And at that point, I was so exhausted, and I was just like, okay, I gotta get this over with, you know? Yeah. And I had a feeling going into it, like, I'm not going to make this. It's, and they were like, we think you're wonderful, but we, we have everyone already. We've got the, we've got the slots filled. So okay. it was unfortunate, but now that I think about it, this was supposed to happen. The next was supposed to happen, so I didn't even mind. 